today is Top 5 Friday. And actually, I had a subscriber ask me what my Top 5 Paula's Choice products were. And I thought I should do a video about it. Uh, the holidays are coming up, but I know people will probably stock up when things are on sale. So I'm going to let you guys know what my Top 5 products from Paula's Choice is. So hands down, my number one favorite product from Paula's Choice is going to have to be the 1% retinol, clinical retinol treatment. Uh, this is my favorite retinol treatment of all time, and I've used quite a few. And definitely is a one worth picking up if you are looking for a good retinol treatment. Uh, I like the packaging. The price is a little pricey, but like I said, with Black Friday coming up soon and sales and holidays, um, you can almost always find this on some sort of sale or with a good gift with purchase. Um, but definitely a good one because it's 1% but it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or flaky. Um, it's got a lot of good uh, ingredients and antioxidants included in this. Um, it smooths over skin easily. You never have to use a ton of it. Um, so it's very potent, yet uh, doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or flaky. It's got a lot of good antioxidants in it. It's got licorice root extract, which is good for skin and skin brightening, oat kernel extract, it's a good skin soother, which is good to add in to something that can leave your skin feeling not so soothed. Um, also has a lot of good ceramides, uh, which are good for restoring your skin, making your skin feel nice and soft. Uh, it's got peptides in there. Um, so this is a really good one. And it's hard to find a good retinol treatment. A lot of them that I find are just not packaged the best to actually maintain their effectiveness from the first pump to the last pump. And a lot of them don't include a ton of antioxidants in them. So uh, while they may work, they might leave your skin feeling dry or flaky or irritated. So this is a good one to check out, especially like I've got very sensitive skin and I can use this one no problem. I like to use this one after a good serum. And then after this absorbs, I usually apply another moisturizer in just to kind of seal it in and give my skin some added hydration. But this is definitely a good one worth checking out, uh, especially from the Paul's Choice brand. Um, probably one of my favorites and it's definitely probably I would say one of the best sellers of the brand from what I know so uh, definitely worth checking out so that's got to be my first my second is one that I've only been using the last five or six months so I haven't been the retinol I've been using for a couple years now uh, but that is the uh, resist smooth advanced smoothing treatment it has uh, alpha hydroxy acids and uh, beta hydroxy acids in the form of salicylic acid uh, this is a good liquid exfoliant. Uh, it is a little strong, so I should mention that. So if you're going to start using this and you haven't used this before or you haven't used a lot of exfoliants before, uh, always with everything, start out slow. Do a patch test the night before. Um, and then start out slow. Use it maybe one night uh, and then wait two or three nights and then use it again. Or you can always mix it in with a good moisturizer. Uh, on days my skin's feeling a little sensitive, or I might have done a mask earlier that day, I mix it in with the Protini, the Drunk Elephant Protini. I'll mix a little bit of this in with it. So my skin gets, still gets some of the exfoliant, but not at the full uh, concentrated strength. So um, this one's got a lot of good acids, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, malic acid, and then tartaric acids. So it is strong, so definitely be careful. And uh, the only thing I kind of don't like about it is the dropper bottle is a little annoying. And uh, the other thing that's annoying is since I recently reorganized everything, I can't find my next backup bottle. So I'll be on my fourth bottle once I find it. So, uh, But this is a good one, uh, especially if you have used exfoliants in the past. Uh, this is a good one. It's fragrance-free, but it also contains some good... Um, other antioxidants, it's got green tea, peptides, ceramides, uh, lecithin, licorice root. Uh, and then this is the full size and it's $36, but always wait for it on sale. And I love the little window on here now. So you see when you get, you're close to getting out of the product. Um, so uh, this is a good one. It's just very strong. So if you haven't used it before and you, or if you haven't used a lot of exfoliants in the past, start out slow, use it once, wait two or three days or mix it in with something. So um so yeah so this is a repurchase of mine and actually all of these that i'm going to show i've repurchased so um the next one coming up is something i've repurchased several times now but a little bit of it goes a long way and that's the clinical ultra rich moisturizer 
Uh, if you have dry skin or normal skin, this is a good one. I like to use this after I use my retinol. I'll let that absorb and then I'll apply this because it's a very thick cream, uh, but a lot of good beneficial ingredients for your skin. A little bit of it goes a long way. And when my skin is just feeling super dry and cannot handle anything else, uh, this one almost always makes it feel better. So, uh, but it definitely is a thicker cream, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling uh, greasy, um, but it does absorb, uh, takes a few minutes to absorb, but it definitely leaves, leaves your skin feeling nice. Um, and this is the full size, which I love the packaging. A squeeze tube is convenient if you travel a lot or if you just have too much makeup and you're running out of space on your cabinet, you can throw this in a drawer. And uh, the full size is $31, but like I said, always check. You can always uh, pick them up with a good promo code or gift with purchase. Um, yeah, so I'm almost always using this. Um, contains shea butter, olive oil, coconut oil, oat kernel extract, ceramides, and vitamin E. So it's got a lot of good beneficial ingredients. Um, if you have very oily skin, you're probably not going to want to pick this one up. Um, you're probably going to want to pick up the lighter uh hydration formulas she has offered but uh, this one is worth checking out if you have normal or dry skin or very dry skin so uh, this one I've repurchased again several times I don't use this one in the morning just because of how uh, thick it is I only use this one at night um, in the morning it just didn't work well with other makeup products that I was using probably just because of how emollient it is so uh, but better off to be used at night so uh, worth checking out in my opinion and my next one is, again, something I purchased several times. And uh, the next time I purchased it, it sounds like they've repackaged it a little bit, but not changed the formula. And that is the uh, Paula's Choice Redness Relief Serum. And this one I tend to use after I've done, I have a Tria laser and an Illuminage laser, those wrinkle lasers you use. They hurt, even though they don't say it, they hurt. Uh, I tend to use this one after those. So if I use the laser on my forehead, once I'm done with it, I'll apply this one. And it really does have a nice soothing feeling for it. Um, so I'm glad they've changed the packaging because it's hard to dispense just a little bit without getting a lot. Uh, but um, it definitely is very light. Uh, I also did a video about uh, micro needling or derma rolling. Uh, there's been times where after I've derma rolled, I've used this too because it... Uh, doesn't contain any fragrance or alcohol, but it contains a lot of skin soothing ingredients. So it's very beneficial for your skin to use after something like that. Uh, this this serum, though, you're gonna if you don't use layers like I do, you're probably not gonna like it because it never really sets to a full dry finish. It always maintains a somewhat tacky finish, which isn't an, any issue to me because I always use layers on top of it. So. Uh, but this one has a lot of good beneficial ingredients, sodium hyaluronate, it's got ceramides, licorice root, and then uh, CoQ10. So it's a lot, got a lot of good beneficial and skin soothing ingredients. Uh, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, they also have a toner that matches this that I actually really liked, uh, but I ran out of it and I haven't picked it up yet. So waiting for a good sale. I don't buy anything unless it's a good sale or a really good gift with purchase. That's kind of my rule. So anyway, so this one's worth checking out. Even if you have oily skin, I think you might appreciate the texture of this if you use, plan on using something else after it. But if not, you're not going to like that tacky finish it leaves. So, um, And then my last one is another good product that I've repurchased several times over. Um, and that is the Paula's Choice Resist Brightening Essence. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. This one's just big, bulky, heavy packaging. The dropper bottle. Dropper bottle's a little bit uh, uh, kind of feisty, too. But uh, this one is front-loaded with a lot of great beneficial ingredients in it. Um, Arbutin, vitamin C, licorice root, sodium hyaluronate, niacinamide, uh, adenosine, adenosine. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. But it's got a lot of good beneficial ingredients um, if you're looking for brightness or dealing with hyperpigmentation or uh, melasma. It's got a lot of good things to help brighten your skin, and they're pretty much right at the front of the ingredient list. But I really like it. It's got a pretty light texture. So I use this after I use my toner. I usually apply this. It soaks in in about 30 seconds, and then I go with a serum afterwards. But... This one's a good one. It's just a nice light essence and it's alcohol free. A lot of essences aren't alcohol free. However, more and more are becoming uh, free of denatured alcohols. More companies pick up that it's not so good for your skin. 
but uh, definitely a good one. Uh, this is the full size, which is one ounce, and it's $42, so it's a little bit pricey, but a bottle lasts quite a while. I think a bottle lasts me about three months uh, because a few drops go a very, very long way with this. So uh, this one has definitely helped noticeably brighten my skin. So for me, it was hard to pick out five of my favorites from Paula's Choice because there's a lot of good things in this brand that I really like, especially since they're fragrance-free. Uh, but these are the ones I use most often or every single day, so... Um, they're worth checking out. I'm waiting for a good sale or a good gift with purchase and I'll be restocking them. So, um, yeah. So what are your guys' favorites from Paula's Choice? Uh, if you have a favorite, let me know. Uh, or if you've tried any of these, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on it. So, uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I come with at least one new video every day and tomorrow is versus Saturday. So check me out tomorrow and uh, yeah, so leave a comment. And uh, if you want to help the channel, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys.